Welcome back everyone to Old World Blues, the Fallout mod for Hearts of Iron 4. And this time I'll be doing something a little bit different. I'll be having a tutorial on how to play the Enclave. Yes, the Enclave. Because in case you don't know, at the start there is no Enclave. And wait, watch Enclave? Oh, right. <laughs> there is no Enclave, right? And they're one of the most, I guess you could say, famous and, uh, wait, what? Oh. Oh, I didn't even realize that that was the case. So, they're one of the most famous, of course, factions in the Fallout universe. And yet, normally, I'm just going to ignore that. Uh, normally, they don't really, uh, they don't really exist in Old World Blues, but there's a way to play them. In fact, there's a few ways to play them. As you can see, we just got this event. How did we get this event? Well, you play as New Reno, okay? This is the sort of city of criminals north of the NCR, and they're the one, one of the few factions that have a focus tree. And what you need to do to play as the Enclave, which happens after you get this event, is that... Um, you need to take a lot of different focuses. Okay, so the ones that you need to take are in the leadership, I guess the bait, <laughs> even though it's criminal, so it's more like in the leadership struggle. You need to take um, Salvatore family, aka Mason Salvatore, and you need to take all of his focuses. In the end, you get this calling in the old allies, and then this is one of the uh, focuses that you need. Then the other two that you need are Sanctuary City, actually the other three. You need Sanctuary City, you need Sergeant Granite's Defense Company, and you need Enclave Technicians. F this is from the Merc Military Path. Uh, these are all of the Enclave-related focuses, I guess, that New Reno gets normally. And if you take all three, you have this event, the Rise of the Remnants. So, Mason Salvador's plans have finally come to fruition. In a night of supreme violence and bloodshed, hundreds of former Enclave personnel slaughtered his rivals in Urino, butchering each of the great families. Unfortunately for Salvador, uh, why does it... Why is it spelled Mexican here, and it's spelled Italian here? Well, oh, Hispanic, and uh, here it's spelled Italian? I don't know. Uh, they never intended to keep him around past this point, and his own organization also found itself in the firing line. Sergeant Dornan, the meanest man to grace the, the Wastelands, has taken control of Reno. Time will tell whether or not this is part of a bigger plot. So, Sergeant Dornan takes control for the Enclave for Navarro. And... You don't change your party name, it's still the Salvatores. But you get, of course, Sergeant Dornan as your leader, and you become the Enclave. And as you can see, you are exactly in the same position. You have the exact same focus tree as before. So it's nothing uh, particularly strange, but you do get some extra uh, attacks like this Tesla energy weapons and is advanced. I don't know exactly what that is, but it's there. I guess we are advanced now. <laughs> and yeah, uh, you also have other bonuses uh, because of the other focuses that you took. For example, this calling in old allies gives you um, gives you power armor as a uh, template, a power armor division, and it also gives you a couple of these enclave remnants. All right, so you get two of these enclave remnants when you start, and you uh, take calling in the old allies. So you get already two power armor divisions for free. Then you uh, get Granite's Company by taking, well, Granite's Company, Sergeant Granite's Defense Company. And then when you take Enclave Technician and you get the coup event, you uh, grab yourself a couple more Enclave Remnant units. So these are all very, very good, of course. And actually, these ones have Tesla Energy weapons with them. So they're very, very strong, of course. Look at their <laughs> attack is just through the roof. And uh, you also get a few techs from this deal. For example, you get the production of power armor. And you also get, I believe, you get something else. Mm, I don't remember. 
I don't remember. Anyway, you also get some national spirits, such as the Granite Company, Energy Weapons, Research Time Reduction, and all of that. So, yes, you get a lot of bonuses for being the Enclave, and it's pretty cool when you do become one. There's also a few other ways to become the Enclave. There's a way in which the Enclave can kind of take over one other, uh, I guess, little state or faction. I'm not exactly sure how this ever works because it kind of happens randomly if you go uh, a little bit further with the game. There's also a way for a civil war to happen in the NCR and uh, that's after the NCR elections but I don't know exactly how to get them. So after you get an NCR civil war one of the factions is going to be the Enclave if you have picked the uh, correct I guess choices in the election events. But for now, the only one that I'm actually like 100% uh, sure and that I can show is this one with uh, Reno. So yeah, this is basically how you play the Enclave. And I'll probably make a bit of a playthrough with them, but who knows. So for now, I'm just going to leave you. And I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you soon.